all, I would like to thank to the sponsor of this event for the invitation to such an important meeting as scientific knowledge. It's a pleasure to, to share part of the analysis process of social skills that I've been able to carry out among a great diversity of people of different ages and professions. My interest in, uh, in studying and analyzing these skills began in 2008 while I was studying my, my postgraduate. The first research concern was related to the personal relationship of some workers at the university where I work and in medical students. In the former, I found, I found an efficient relationship with, between the skills and how they interact at work. In the students, on the other wise, I found that if they consider a critical interpersonal relationship during, during the study process, however, upon graduating from school, their vision was modified to focus only in the cysts, on the cysts, and they forgot about the person. This change in his vision was mainly because the students' teachers were excellent professionals from different medical fields and with deep knowledge on the, another disease. For these reasons, teachers showed his tendency to the students and left the person aside. A simple way to explain this human phenomenon consists of two constants in the human relationship. It is impossible not to communicate, was say by uh, Paul Baslavik, and it's impossible not to learn. This is from Maturana. So later on, I keep digging and found another resource called Goldstein Social Skills Test, which I found very practical and insightful at the same time. And for this, I decided to apply it to the population which I wish, which work it, the psychology students at the University of Autonomous of Nayarit. So then in 1970, the first application was the test that was carried out in 97 students. 80% were women and 20% were men. Wherever they are not, they, we analyzed the results, the trend presented the group number two coach our attention. Oh, let me see. Okay. See, as far as you can see, that's uh, the, 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 the test comes up. Uh, it's about 15 items. So we measure the first social skills, advanced social skills, uh, skills related to feelings, uh, alternative abilities for aggression, skills to deal with stress, and planning skills. So here in this, uh, this slide is possible to, to observe uh, what this question is consists of. In the same way, we can see that each question represents various behaviors carried out in a multiply scenarios of the inner life, such as family, social, work, school, etc. We encourage people to assume that they already know how to carry out those behaviors. In an expected situation, this can cause emotional alteration reflected on the psychological disposition which is turned in a source of dissatisfaction that can alter the perception, the perception of oneself. See, this is what we found out. That was um, the, the main traits that required personal development. That was first in the 97 uh, students who were evaluated. And then as far as you can see from one to seven, it's according to group number one, and then uh, group number two. Uh, this, uh, this is the other ones, the, the other traits that require the personal development. Okay. So, uh, 
after the, the analysis was published in 2017, we did more uh, more analysis among, uh, uh, among another people, which was engineering, psychology, electoral committee workers, academic tutors, magistrate lawyers, master students, high school teacher. In total, we added 213 people were related, whatever the initial analysis was added, they had 308 people from different occupation fields were analysis, resulting in a downward trend in a group number two to correspond to advanced social skills. See, this is uh, what we can see right here. What we find out, that was the, the, the lowest and the group, group number six was the highest. And also we found out that the, uh, this is the, the by based on and cumulative frequency and relative frequency, this is uh, uh, for 146 people uh, found out in the group number, which means almost the, the, the health of the population. So this is the, this is the, the, the you know, the, the items uh, found in the group number two, which uh, it's sounds easy to understand, but let me let me explain uh, one by one. It might seem easy to ask for 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 help. However, in some people, it can mean incompetence, ignorance, limitation, etc., which can sometimes cause feelings of self devaluation participate in a group activities. It is common for many people to consider that group activities can be a waste of time. For example, they brainstorm and they feel that their creative capacity do not emerge efficiently. For this reason, they do not enjoy teamwork. To give instruction, instruction it is necessary to have clarity and knowledge on, of what is needed to be achieved or sometimes there are doubts about what is intended, which is perfectly normal. However, some people are bored or uncomfortable giving instructions. On the other hand, it is also frequent that the instructions received have not been correctly understood. For this reason, it causes some embarrassment to recognize that the instructions have not been correctly understood. The action, the, the number, the follow instruction. Oh, apologize. The action that, of apologize forced to want to recognize that one. Let me see. Let me try it again. The action to apologizing forced ones to recognize that that one has made a mistake, probably involuntary. However, being able to apologize implies taking responsibility to, for oneself, and it is a telepractice for self realization to learn to apologize. We often consider that convincing others force others to adopt our points of view and about them theirs. It is not like that. Convincing involves arguing and showing possibilities for a personal perspective. I will not always better than the, than the others. So as far as you can see, this is the this this uh, according to to what just showed before. This is the the the, the so, social skill premises, which mean that uh, the interpersonal relationships are essential for psychological development and functioning. So, another one is interpersonal disharmony ca can lead to a psychological disturbance. Certain person interpersonal styles are more adaptive than others and can be taught. Once these styles are learning, the individual will improve her competence in specific, specific situations. The improvement of personal competence can contribute to the advance of psychology functioning. Okay, the reasons to promote, according to the, to the last slide, the reason to promote the development of social skills is that we found out a general trend in a group evaluated. It's a excellent resource to, the, to reduce repression, which means to be able 
to express what you feel, what you think, what you talk, I mean, everything. Avoid alexithymia, which means uh, incapacity to express feelings through words. Reduce the depression, strengthen the dialogical experience. You know, it's very important you, uh, when you see the, when you, when you, let's, let's see this, this way. The, when you communicate, uh, you communicate uh, feelings, uh, talks, a lot of things. So it's very, very important to express this, uh, the, 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 to experience the, the, the dialogical experience because that way you can, you, you're not depressed. I mean, you're not uh, having, you not have a, a repression. Just express what you feel, you express what you want, express whatever you need to do. So that's invigorate the self-concept and increase self-esteem. Okay. The social skill process most involved is complete development, school training, reduced anxiety in problematic social situations and cognitive restructuration. Okay. So the stage of the social skill training means identify specific areas in which the person has difficulty, determine the nature of a problem, analyze the reason why the individual does not behave in a social appropriate way, inform the person about the nature of social skills, about the objectives to be achieved with the training and about what is to expect of him. And then the, uh, develop a belief system that generates respect for, for one's another and the rights of others. The distinction between assertive, passive, and aggressive behavior. Cognitive restructuration of the way of thinking in concrete situations and behavioral tests of assertive response in the three situation. So what we try to find out is uh, what we try, what we do right now, it's try to, to, to work with the, the students in order to develop these kinds of uh, uh, social school training and I've been working uh, hard uh, about it. So this is the campus at the Autonomous University of Nayari, right here in Mexico. So that will be all. Thank you for your attention. There's any question, any, any comments about it? So before everything, let me let me let me apologize because my uh, my language. I mean, it's not a, easy for me to speak in English, but I will try to do my best. Thank you, doctor, for your presentation.